Good evening, Becky. Good evening, people. Good evening, good evening. Sorry, guys. Um, I had to come online again. It was just something important I wanted to put out here. Please, as you're coming in, like and share the video. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up, people. Give it a thumbs up. Let's get in here. Let's get in here. As you're coming in, in the comment section, please type the hashtag, I stand with Ijele, or solidarity for Ijele. I've just got a quick update, a quick update on my desk, so I just need to put it out here for, for the record. So, um, get in here, people. Sorry guys, I'm still commuting, so I'm still outside. It might be a little bit noisy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, Rossi. Please, um, for those of you who can make it to the court tomorrow, try to be in the court. Try to be in the court tomorrow. Tomorrow is Ijele's bail application ruling. The last court sitting the bail application was heard and the ruling was moved to last week Friday but for some reasons the magistrate did not turn up so I'm waiting for people to get in here I know they are shadow barring the page but then they can do all they can they can't stop the truth Nigerians know the truth humanity knows the truth and I stand with the jelly come rain come shine solidarity for the jelly so people, um, just a quick one, just a quick one, basically um, information reaching me through a jealous council, what did happen today, um, everyone knows tomorrow a jailer will be in court and the court is to rule on his bail application because um, the last time he was in court two weeks ago, the motion for bail was entered and the ruling was moved to last week Friday. But for some health reasons, the magistrate did not turn up. The magistrates, you know, the Honorable Court adjourned the case till Thursday tomorrow for the ruling. Now, Ijele has a lawyer whom are representing him in this regard. What did happen was today, two police officers went all the way to the KP Correctional Center, trying to harass Ijele, trying to bully Ijele, trying to intimidate Ijele into signing a document. Please, guys, for those of you who know the handle of the Nigerian Police Force, please tag the Nigerian Police Force, tag them. They need to hear this. They need to see how some bad eggs within the institutions are reducing the institutions to nothing but a radical and mockery. You know, tag them, please, if you know the handle of the Nigerian Police Force, Tag them here so that, you know, those handling their social media handles can hear this. Now, first, I don't know what would give them this impression that it is right for them to approach Ijele directly. Ijele is, has a matter before the court. He has illegal representatives in this regard. Any document, official document, should not go directly to him. He should go to his counsel. In this case, Ijele has lawyers that are representing him. So these two police officers, they need to understand that whatever they are doing, they are going to hit the rock. Ijele will be in court tomorrow. Why the hurry? Why the haste? Traveling all the way from Abuja down to Nasarawa, trying to bully him, trying to force him against his will to sign a document he knows no content of it. I mean, what are we not talking about? How can police officers begin to reduce themselves so low? Whichever document you have, whichever petition you have, bring it to the court tomorrow and give it to Ijele's counsel, his lawyers. You know, I don't know why these people are acting in this manner. Do they think that they can continue to violate his human rights? That is, that, the answer is no. 
this case has you know is before the court why don't they approach the court to tender this you know this document why don't they go to jealous lawyers to give them this document why going to the prison to serve him to serve a document ejl is not a baby he knows all your antics he knows all the shenanigans he's well prepared for this he's ready for this he's not broken you know i don't know where this is done elsewhere you think you can boycott everything going to him that he, he, he should sign a document he wouldn't sign it and he's not going to sign it whichever document the nigerian police has please bring it to court tomorrow give those documents to ejl's lawyers you know the police need to be neutral in this all the police is doing is just like you know an institutions they shouldn't take sides these police officers whose interests are they working for the nominal complainants this is a case that the bail application will be ruled tomorrow why are you guys in a haste if they grant each other bail fine if they dismiss him his bail fine either way we are good and fine by it this step they are taking trying to go to the prisons thinking they can bully him no you cannot bully jelly he has stood his ground that he wouldn't sign it i said let me put out this here for the records you know i don't want to raise any other alarm i believe he's strong he's fine but these police officers you both that went to Nasarawa today should know that Ijele's case is coming up tomorrow in court. Why don't you both take these letters or whatever document you have you want him to sign, bring it to the court tomorrow, present it to his lawyers. Every document should go through his lawyers. He has a legal representatives. He has lawyers. Do not take any document to him. He's not going to sign any of your documents. I don't know how, how, how some police officers behave in nigeria how their brain functions i'm not trying to talk down on the good officers but these few corrupt bad eggs the nigerian police needs to do better to fish them out get them out of the way these guys are nothing but working to obstruct the will of justice to compromise this ejl is going to be in court tomorrow his life will be in court tomorrow hopefully we pray the court seats tomorrow and rule of the bail application there are two options either granting him bail or denying him bail Either which way, we are fine. Each jail is fine by it. But what would not stand to begin to witness and to condone is for two police officers on whose order they know who they are working for, traveled all the way to Nasrawa, trying to ask him to come sign a document. He's not going to sign it. He wouldn't sign it. How much more do you think you can bully him? And when I come out here, when those of us come out here to say, Ijele has been facing intimidation, harassment, police people try to say oh no that's that's not what is happening most of you have no knowledge of what the, you know what is facing if he's not a somebody of a strong will he they want to break his spirit but no he's 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 determined he hasn't said he's not going to face the trial he hasn't said he's not going to stand before the court from day one they've been doing all this to bully him and today they think they can just rush to the prison trying to force him to sign a document because they are dealing with some kindergarten. He generally understands the law. He would not sign any document. He would not, no matter what the document is, can these police officers bring it to court tomorrow? Are you guys not done with forging of documents? Is, this, these few police officers, are they not ashamed of the role they are playing? You guys have gone on to forge the first affidavit. It's nothing but catalogs of lies, lied under perjury, under oath. The second affidavit, which you guys file as a counter affidavit, when Ijele's counsel challenged the first affidavit, you guys went to concoct affidavit and police reports from Anambra State. All catalog of lies again. You're bringing another lie for him to sign. He wouldn't sign it. Ijele is standing his foot. What he has is a civil case. He wouldn't sign any document. Whatever document you guys feel you have, bring it to his lawyers in court tomorrow. Hand those documents to his lawyers tomorrow. It's such a shame. I mean, if most of you begin to see the sort of affidavits that some police officers are swearing on that oath on behalf of the Nigerian police, you begin to weep. The, other, the counter affidavits, even the police officers you guys mentioned, they are not conversant with this case. 
Now you ask yourself, is this case actually about cyberbullying, cyber stalking, criminal intimidation and threat to life? If it is, why don't you go to the courts? You guys have your evidence. So why, why are you trying to bring all manner of false documents, concocting lies here and there? You guys should even be ashamed that few corrupt police officers has misled the Nigerian courts, has misled the honorable courts with false affidavit, with perjury. Will these officers come out to say that they didn't lie under oath? What has adoption and kidnapping got to do with this case? Is the a kidnapper? The answer is no. Has the jailer adopted anybody? The answer is no. Are you guys working for IPOB? Come out and say you're working for IPOB. These police officers should come out and say they're working for IPOB. And if will be there, let us know this. If you guys are not working in the interest of justice, if you guys are not working on behalf of the Nigerian government and taxpayers, come out and say that on this case, you are working for IPOB and the nominal complainant, which is Oibigobi and Sam Ministry. Then let us get who we are dealing with. You guys should stop forging no manner of documents. You should be ashamed that officers under your, under your payroll, under taxpayers, are, are, are going to court, lying under oath. Lying under oath, presenting false information. Everything they have is falsification of information, misleading the Nigerian justice system. The jailer is not going to sign anything in court. Sorry, he's not going to sign any document in prison. Whatever document you guys have, bring it to the court tomorrow. He will be in court. Hand the document to his lawyers. Let his lawyers accept that document on his behalf. You guys shouldn't go and begin to try to bully him, try to cow him. He wouldn't cow. He wouldn't bend for you guys. He's standing his ground. Thank you guys. And God bless you all. Hopefully, tomorrow, Ijele will be in court. For those who are within Abuja Metropolis, please try to attend. If you find time, try to attend. And good people of good conscience, let us stand in solidarity with Jele. What we are fighting here is the nominal complainant and IPOB, Ebukobi and Zan Minister are nothing but a front. IPOB is the mask and we know them. They should continue bringing their false documents. They should continue bringing their lies. Let them come and present it for the competent court. And stop trying to get him to sign anything in court. He's not, sorry, in prison. He's not going to sign any document in prison. We have a court system. He's, in, he's going to be in court tomorrow. Bring your documents to the court tomorrow. Thank you guys and good night from here.